Well, we got a close up look today at the new bus stops in Magnolia that have a lot of parents accusing the school board of putting their children in harm's way. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live again tonight from Magnolia with the latest on this. Randy. Jonathan, some Magnolia ISD students are walking a mile, even two miles, just to get to the bus stop. It's dark, there's no sidewalks, and parents say several sex offenders live in the area. Parents are vowing that they will vote school board members out if they keep these new bus routes. There's nowhere for the fire department to get in here. Something needs to give. This is not what we deserve. But I want to make sure my kids get there safely, and they should too. Parents are so angry over Magnolia ISD's new bus routes, it was standing room only at Monday night's school board meeting. If he can't deal with this community's concerns, Dr. Stevens, you should look for a new job. No sidewalks, no lights. But parents say there are plenty of sex offenders along the long walk to the new bus stops. We have children who are going all the way quarter of a mile in 104 degrees. I know of a friend of mine who lives on the other side of Magnolia. Her child is expected to walk 2.2 miles, 45 minute walk in heat advisory weather. This is one of three daily bus drop offs at Decker Hills and Dobbin Huffsmith. To avoid having their children walk a mile or more, parents line up on both sides of the street. As one bus arrived to unload kids, fire trucks were trying to get to a house fire in the neighborhood. We had a fire truck come through here. Sirens were coming. There was nowhere for them to go. The cars were blocking them. The buses were unloading children. The fire trucks had to honk at the kids to get them out of the way. Some parents are telling school board members go back to the way it was or else. We have been here longer than they have been board members. We're not moving. We're not budging. Parents believe the new bus routes are a way for the district to save $600 to $900,000 a year. But school board members say this is not a way to save money. They blame it on a bus driver shortage. With this, uh, this uh, we'll continue the fight between the two. And, of course, we'll keep you posted. Reporting live from Magnolia, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News.